This is Earl Amin with the 2020 Foresight Podcast, where CEOs of small to global companies share their insights. It is six questions in nine minutes because top CEOs know how to listen and be concise. So let's get to it. First of all, welcome. And in just a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Yeah, thanks, Earl. Uh, my name is Lee Cassells, and I'm the co-founder of an organization called FSQ Consulting that's based in Canada. And we work with major sports organizations, small and medium-sized enterprises all across North America with a view of really driving their business to the next level, whatever that looks like for the business owner. Uh, and FSQ stands for Forget Status Quo. So as you can imagine, we're constantly pushing boundaries and doing things slightly differently. Indeed, indeed. Well, Lee, what, what's the best thing for you about being the CEO? I think the best thing for me is, is constantly seeing leaders run about me, then lead other people, but then lead other people. Uh, we're, as CEOs or leaders, you're, you're actually creating the future of business or the, mm. creating the future for the children or whatever thing they're currently working on. So for me, that's something I really take very personally of really seeing people develop and then develop people underneath them. Indeed, indeed. Now, I'm, I'm sure you've heard from other CEOs, as I have as well, that leading a team and being able to see the road ahead can be a challenge. What are your thoughts? Uh, I can understand the frustrations. However, personally, I kind of take a different approach on it. And that I don't believe it's the, the challenge of seeing what's ahead. I think the challenge is actually just making the decision and driving a decision forward. So it's really, we're going in this direction and we're going to have to make mistakes. We're going to have speed bumps. We're going to have to have learning experiences. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. we're making a decision and we're making it today. And this is what we're doing moving forward. Uh, so I feel that that's the biggest challenge that people just need to go over that mindset of we just have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. So tell me, what piece of specific insight do you want to share with and for the benefit of other CEOs? Uh, I think kind of tying in the last comment of like time is now, like as a CEO, your time is now to make a change. Your time is now to reinvent your business. The time is now to reinvent yourself, your team, your organization. COVID is pretty much over for most businesses, at least it's in the rear view mirror. So let's get back to your plans. Let's get back to your big area, audacious goals. And let's really just nail down exactly what you want to do moving forward. But it has to start now. You can't wait until that magical thing appears in front of you of now we can change. It has to start now. Right. Immediately. Indeed. Yeah. So what other, in your journey to success, what other CEOs successful like yourself would you like to acknowledge or give a shout out to and, and should be on my podcast? Yeah, uh, there's definitely three that really spring to mind. One would be Carol Ulmer. Uh, he's the CEO of a very successful fitness brand in uh, Canada called Club 16 Travel and Fitness. And the reason being is he's a very passionate leader and he leads from the front. And he also leads from behind. The things need to get taken care of in the background. He's always there as a companion, as a friend, as a leader, mentor, etc. cetera. Uh, the other one would be Sarah Hudson. She's the CEO of Liberal Clinics across Canada. Uh, and she's one of the most driven individuals I've ever met in my life, uh, not only in our own business, but in terms of changing an industry as a whole. Uh, and then the last one would be Adam Butcher, who's the CEO of Sea Flora here in Canada. Uh, and as a leader, he lives and breathes his core values every day. Uh, and it's just amazing to see somebody at that level really live and breathe their core values every single day and everything he does inside and outside of work. Oh, very good. Well, I certainly uh, appreciate receiving those. Um, now for the final question, how do you celebrate a win? Uh, to be honest, this is something that I'm probably not the best person at doing. I'm usually a check mark person of check, done, check, done, I'll run through the list. Uh, I'm getting better over the last couple of years. And one thing that we do at FSQ, which has definitely helped me realize the successes is at the start of every meeting, whether it's internal or external, we have to start with good news stories that relates to that brand's vision, mission, core values. And every week or every meeting that we have, it really starts to bring to light what's being achieved over that week. And for me, that's that feel good factor of, okay, we checked the box, but we also achieved this success during that process as well. So mm -hmm. it's nice to, for me personally, to be forced to see those wins over and over again. 
Indeed, indeed. All right. Well, let me say it's been a really great pleasure having you on today. There was another question that popped into my mind, but it just as quickly left me. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> that happens sometimes. But it's been a great pleasure having you on. How can people find you? Uh, they can find me at getsuccessfaster.com, which is a URL we use for FSQ Consulting. Uh, my email address is lee, which is L-E-E, -E, at getsuccessfaster.com, or they can find me on LinkedIn at lee, L-E-E. -E. And my last name is Cassells, C-A-S-S-E-L-L-S. -S -S -E and I will look forward to connecting. Excellent. This is Earl Amin with the 2024 Side Podcast. For more insights, go to LinkedIn and search for The Gray Owl Company. Lee, a great pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.